Good afternoon, you guys. Hope you're well. It's Jane. Let me get comfortable here. I've been painting and crafting all morning and having a ball, and it's already into the afternoon now. I hope you guys are well. This is what I want to show you how to make today. I've been kind of um, feeling the woodland um, vibe for some ornaments, and I'm going to be wrapping soon, and I like to make um, all three of my sons, my daughter-in-law, of course my grandson Mateo, I make them ornaments. So this is kind of the theme this year. And the paint that I used, because isn't this color gorgeous? Hang on, let me just, ugh. I put my camera so far away. In the, sur by the way, the Surface Anthology membership is open. And um, that's why my camera is set up like this. We were doing a kind of big project. I digress. So getting back to this color, this is Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint. And it is a custom color that I mixed up because I wanted like a kind of, first I started off wanting like a turquoise and then I'm like, you know what? I think I want a teal color. So I mixed that color up. I have my uh, grandmother's antique blanket chest and it is still wearing its original teal color paint and I love it. So I've kind of recreated that. So this is what we're going to be making today. And what I use, what I started with is a paper mache star. And I apply two coats of the Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint. And let me show you how, how that works. <clears throat> I only have one of these stars and I know my craft room is so disorganized. I know I have a bag of these somewhere and I just have to find them, but I also found these, um, which are really cool too. So let me show you, because I know a lot of you don't use milk paint. You're a little nervous about it. I wanted to show you, hey, hi, Danielle Preston. Hi there from Pennsylvania, yay. <laughs> I love Pennsylvania. We lived at one point in California and we drove through Pennsylvania, you know, we had our cats, so we had to bring them with us and I didn't want to put them on a plane, so we're like, let's drive across the country. Pennsylvania is so big and so gorgeous. Um, I fell in love. I fell in love with the stone houses. Um, I just love it. So thanks, Danielle, for watching. So here I am. I just mix up. When you're working with milk paint, you have to understand that this is a really ancient form of paint. All the pigments and um, minerals that it's made with tend to kind of settle to the bottom. So you want to give it a little stir. And look at how smooth and nice that goes on. And I just painted these ornaments like this. And the fun thing about milk paint when you have it, and remember, True milk paint is always in a powder form. So um, you can mix up different colors with the powders and experiment. See what you're gonna, you know, end up with. All right. How many of you guys actually make your own ornaments like me? I've done this since I was a kid. <laughs> so there it is, look at that star. Now this, I think one coat's gonna be fine for this one because my milk paint's been sitting around this afternoon, so it's gotten a little bit thicker and it's covering really, really well. All right, so that's all I did. And then you put this aside and let it dry. Let me get this out of the way. Then, I'm messing up my nice, I, I put a white piece of paper down so you could see what we were working on. You too good, Danielle. It's fun, right? I mean, why not? When I go through my ornaments, the ones that I love the most are the ones my kids made, some of my aunts made ornaments. They knit little tiny sweater. They did all these things. 
I love those ornaments and they're and they're just the best. All right, now the first thing you have to do, and I'm gonna put my glue gun on high, is we have to create like a little kind of nest here for this to sit in because it's very three dimensional as you can say. So what I and actually will do it on the hearts. I also painted some hearts with the white milk paint that I used for our little um, deer here, our bucks that are kind of running across. So I have some Spanish moss and yes, this stuff is really messy, but it's so cool. I love it. So you have to pull some off and get your, your glue gun really hot. I don't know if you guys joined me and the other um, decorative painters in the Painted Cottage um, Facebook group. If you haven't, please join because we're going to be doing another workshop soon. But um, I got over my fear of using a hot glue gun in there. All right. So I create this little kind of nest and I make it actually thinner in the middle. All right, because I don't want it to be super, like a super mound over our shapes. All right, so you test it out, see if you like it. I like that. And then you just put a whole bunch of hot glue down right where you want it. And don't skimp. And then you press in your Spanish moss. Just like that. Now, this is hard to see, but this is a heart shape. It's hard to see on the white. Um, but there it is. And then what we're going to do, and if you look at this, you'll see, I've got glitter on the um, little star here. On the Spanish moss, I have something called mica flakes, right? I wanted something a little bit bigger, and mica is totally natural. It's it's from the ground. Um, but I wanted something kind of soft like that. So I chose to put some mica flakes on. So what you do, grab your mica flakes, and they look like this in the bag. And you guys, if you take walks, if you hike, you'll see those things reflecting on the ground, in the ground, and it's mica flakes. And I'm gonna use some Elmer's glue. And if you wonder why it's in the gelato container, it's because the, the bottle of Elmer, the giant bottle of Elmer's glue exploded. So I just dip my brush into the Elmer's and then I just kind of tap all around the Spanish moss and be generous remember the glue is going to dry clear and I don't need to do the center because we're going to have something else there All right, and then grab your mica. It's really, really soft. It's so nice. And you just sprinkle it on. And it's going to um, attach everywhere. Now, I should have done this on a separate plate but it's going to attach everywhere you put the glue. And it's just got this really soft glow and reflection. It's really beautiful. Once you do that, you grab one of your stars and I painted these. These are just little wooden stars and I painted them the teal that I mixed up. And what I want to do before I glue these on is I want to put some of the 
shiny, shiny, clear glitter. So I'm gonna move this over to the side. You guys, I love glitter. So <laughs> this, is, this is the time of the year for glitter, so I'm gonna use a lot. And I'm gonna kind of hold it behind, because I wanna do this quickly. And again, I use that Elmer's glue. and go all the way around. If you miss a spot, which I'm going to because I'm holding it with my fingers, I can get it after when the ornament is all put together. I could just add more glitter. Can you believe, I think Christmas is in like 12 days. <gasps> it just, every year it happens, every year I say this, like I'm really shocked at how quickly it just jumps up all right once you do that here's your star and I am working over a plate to catch my glass glitter so I don't lose it and I just shake it on and that's it make sure you get it everywhere I'm gonna give it a little turn and you can even do this, just putting it on the plate and pushing the glitter right on top. You can lift it out. And there's your German glass glittered star. Now you see the glue here, that's why it looks so white, but once that dries, it's just gonna be glitter. All right, so let's grab our heart. And then I'm gonna flip this over. It's best, don't do what I'm doing. Let it dry for a few minutes on a piece of wax paper and then do this. <laughs> Make your life a little bit easier. All right, I'm going to put a lot of hot glue on the back of this. And yes, my hot <laughs> glue gun is smoking and I'm centering it right, so that the top point goes right up to the, the middle of the heart or the cleft, and then I'm pushing it down. I really want it to make good contact. And then the last thing to do with this little ornament is I painted these little, put it on something dark, these little bucks with some Miss Mustard seed. I mixed what I had, the whites I had, because I'm running low. Um, ironstone, linen, and I, 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 there was a third one. But it made this just really pretty creamy white color. Get your hot glue gun. And again, you would wait for your glitter to dry, the glitter star. And then just turn this around and you can have him leaping. And how beautiful is that? Let me move this white paper so you can see it. So you see that shape? And it's just got that beautiful, um, very subtle mica powder. All right, I wanna show you one more. Let this one and this one dry. So now I have two ornaments done for my packages. And I do tie these onto my packages because um, how pretty is that? You know, they get two gifts in one. So for this one, we're starting off with one of those um, milk painted stars. I don't know where I got these. Somebody actually cut the little strings off so I'm probably gonna take a drill bit and just put a hole in it, either going across this way or going down and through and putting some ribbon on it. When you have a piece like this that's wobbling, get a cloth, an old towel, an old rag, and put it down like this so it holds it steady. All right. I'm gonna start with our Spanish moss again and form it. 
into like a little nest and make it flatter in the middle, right? So flatter. And check it out, make sure you like it. And then grab that hot glue gun. And I'm putting a lot on. And then put down your little Spanish moss nest, pressing in the middle. If they do have gloves that you can wear. I've been, you know, knock on wood. <laughs> I haven't burnt my hands yet. I used to do it, my fingers. I used to do it all the time. All right, so now we have our little kind of Spanish moss nest in the middle. And then again, we're gonna grab a star. You know, and actually I did Look at this one. I made, this is an iron orchid mold. It's the, it's got crowns. I forgot, oh, it's the laurel mold. And how beautiful is that? It's just the crown mold. Let me move that away. My camera's not liking focusing today. And I just put that crystal glitter on it. So I think that's really beautiful. I think I'm going to do that for this um, for this ornament. But you know what? I am going to add the mica. That's what I'm going to do. And this is what I do. I surround myself with all these little bits and bobs and then make a decision <laughs> about what I'm going to use. So grab the Elmer's glue. and just kind of blob it on. And I'm tapping it. And after your ornaments dry, if you find, you know, your Spanish moss is going all over, grab some glues, maybe Aileen's Tacky Glue or um, Tight Bond, and you could glue down the parts that you're not happy with or that are kind of going rogue. All right, I could probably just use the mica that fell. I just love this. All right, so there's that very, very soft mica. And then I'm gonna take the, whoop, I need my cloth. You see how that's just moving around? You don't want that. You need it to be stable. Okay. Grab my little crown, put a ton of glue on the back. And then down it goes. And I'm pressing really hard like I did with the other ornament for that to cool and make contact so it's not, you know, lifting up. You have to be aware of that when you're working with the Spanish moss. There, look at that. How pretty is that? So you guys give it a shot. Danielle, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Here are our ornaments. I'll put some um, photographs. I'll take some pictures of these and post them on my Surface Anthology page. But you see a theme building here, right? Please join us in the Painted Cottage Facebook group. Um, it's just so much fun. We're, we're planning our next winter workshop. So definitely, oh, Danielle, thank you so much. I look at I look at these things and I'm like, wow, look what you can make with just a few things. Thank you, Danielle. I appreciate it. Also, my Surface Anthology membership is open. That is for decorative painters, 
furniture painters, people, DIY people who are flipping furniture, um, where we learn different paint techniques, and I deal a lot with milk paint, chalk paint, you name it. And if you want to dive deeper into painting, that's the place to be. Go to surfaceanthology.com and you can check out the membership. And don't forget to join the Painted Cottage. All right, you guys, take care. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Danielle. See you next time. Happy painting, guys.